Scientists found these massive tunnels, then realized they were dug by giant prehistoric beasts. In Brazil, just north of the border with Bolivia, you might stumble across some enormous caves. Yet, while they're big enough for a man to stand upright in them, they weren't created by any geological process. And scientists now think they've discovered exactly what it was that carved these incredible holes into the ground. In a Brazilian state called Redonia, deep in the Amazon, researchers found an enormous complex of strange caverns. In fact, it stretches more than 2,000 feet into the ground, with the roof standing six feet from the floor. And this discovery led to a heap of questions that scientists are only starting to get their heads around. For one, it isn't just the size of the caves that's strange. Indeed, their composition is nothing like that of any other caverns which have been discovered in the region. The floors are smooth while the tunnels are round, and scientists have inspected other caves in the area that were created by water and can see that they're completely different. Then there are the marks on the walls. These marks, in fact, gave the researchers their first clue as to what had created the mammoth underground structures. Gouged into the walls of the incredible caves are deep gashes, and closer examination showed that they could have only been made in one way, by the claws of a now extinct giant animal. However, even this theory posed far more questions than it answered. These so-called paleo burrows are, after all, enormous. So the first question that researchers had to ask themselves was, just what creature had made them. And the explanations they came up with centered on creatures that are long since dead, yet have ties to animals still living today. Some scientists believe that the enormous burrows were dug by giant ground sloths. These massive creatures, much larger than today's tree-dwelling sloths, died out around 9,000 years ago. However, other experts have suggested that it was another beast which took it upon itself to create these underground lairs. Scientists believe giant armadillos could have been responsible for the burrows. For while these creatures weren't as large as the giant sloths, they were still more than capable of digging into the ground. Either way, though, there are other questions that scientists still can't answer, and these might be even more intriguing. Indeed, there are species of giant armadillos still alive in South America now, and while they're much, much smaller than their extinct cousins, they still make burrows. These underground hideaways are far smaller than the paleo burrows, though, and even comparatively, relative to the surviving armadillo's size, they're of nowhere near the same dimensions. Speaking to Discovery, Heinrich Frank, one of the team who found one of the paleo burrows, said, So if a 90-pound animal living today digs a 16-inch by 20-foot burrow, what would dig one 5 feet wide and 250 feet long? There's no explanation, not predators, not climate, not humidity, I really don't know. In other words, these gigantic burrows are still incredibly difficult to explain. They're much larger than would have been necessary to shelter even the enormous armadillos that scientists believe built them. Indeed, the spaces would have provided far more protection than a giant armadillo or ground sloth would ever have needed. And this isn't the only problem facing researchers who are sometimes literally looking into the caves. Right now, one of the biggest issues they have is figuring out just when the paleo burrows were made. In other words, determining how old they are. And this is thanks to a combination of circumstances. What scientists do know is when the giant creatures they think built the caverns disappeared. However, their research is yet to yield any firm conclusions. They could date material in the sediments found in the burrows, although that would only reveal when those sediments entered the burrow. Meanwhile, they could also get an approximate date from mineral deposits in the walls of the caves. As it stands right now, though, neither of those tests have yet been completed, so the age of these incredible structures remains yet another of the various mysteries that surround them. What's more, if that weren't enough confusion, there is a third important question that's baffling scientists as well. And if anything, this one's even stranger. Right now, the geographical positioning of the paleo burrows is leaving scientists confused. They seem to only exist in a narrow band of territory in Brazil, and there are hardly any of them further north in the country. It doesn't look like there are any deeper south in Uruguay either, and yet some may have been discovered in Argentina, which is to the south of both countries. Furthermore, even though there were giant megafauna in North America, none of the paleoburros have been discovered there either. Why? 
it could be because the soil types in different areas have led the burrows to collapse over time. Yet there may be another, even simpler explanation for why scientists haven't found burrows elsewhere. There's a chance that no paleo burrows have been found in these other areas because people just haven't been looking. This particular field of research is in its infancy and that means the paleo burrows could be hiding in plain sight. So the thinking is that no one has seen any of the structures simply because they've not yet tuned into the possibility that they're there. As more and more burrows are discovered though, researchers are increasingly likely to understand the patterns behind them. And while some of the structures are small, there are many other massive ones. These spread out over multiple levels too, and sometimes even open out into huge chambers deep under the soil. There are so many questions about the paleo burrows that it will certainly be intriguing to see where the information that scientists can extract from them leads us. For example, the biggest paleo burrows were obviously dug over multiple generations, and right now we have no idea why. Yet Frank isn't deterred by the massive questions that still surround the new discoveries. What's more, he's pinpointed other possible paleo burrow sites using web searches of pictures that people have taken in caves. There is in fact a chance that people have unknowingly discovered more examples of the phenomenon without even realizing it. Finally, speaking to Discover, Frank said there's an incredible atmosphere down in the caves. In these burrows, sometimes you get the feeling that there's some creature waiting around the next curve. That's how much it feels like a prehistoric animal den. Perhaps then the prospect of being in such an extraordinary environment will inspire other researchers to get out there and find even more of these remarkable structures.